It's bad. <laughs> Could you imagine? So, <laughs> heartbreaking <laughs> for 1300 years. Hotel Del Luna, one of my favorite shows. I'm gonna do my most requested. No, sir. This is too loud. Go get another toy. No. Go get another toy. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Today I'm gonna do Hotel Del Luna because it's still such a good show. I've got a lot of requests for it. So, Hotel Del Luna <laughs> is about this beautiful, cold girl named Zhang Man Wu, which means full moon, who runs a hotel for the dead. Her job is to check in ghosts who have unresolved issues, help them resolve them, and then pass on to the afterlife. But due to her absurdly extravagant lifestyle, she needs like a general manager and a human to run the hotel so they can take care of things in the real world and help her not blow all of her money on clothes and champagne. I get it. <laughs> Which is where the main guy comes into play, Gu Chen Song. He comes in and he is a master hotelier who went to Harvard. And so she needs him to help her run the hotel. But this story is good because of the backstory, how she got the job, how she got here. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the backstory is the real backbone of this story and it should have gotten way more screen time. <laughs> now, how did she get this crazy job to a thousand years ago? I wonder if she knew Kim Shin. A thousand years ago, she was a rebel living with a pack of wandering thieves, bandits. But she met and fell in love with her perfect match, this handsome soldier named Chung Young. It was so good. Oh my god, I loved their romance. Literally, it was what I was waiting to watch in each episode. There was this evil princess, Song Hwa, and she loved him too. And once again, I get it. I get it. Manuel, Chung Young, her best friend slash brother, and their entire pack of bandits were going to flee to another country for freedom. And they were ambushed by the princess's troops. Led by... <laughs> Chung Myung. On top of his grand betrayal, she finds out he's marrying the princess. Like, mm. So, <laughs> she did what all of us sane collective women would do. She snuck into their bedchamber on their wedding night and killed the princess. And then she put on her wedding dress. <laughs> I love her so much. And then she waited on the bed for Chung Myung to come in and see his bride for the first time. And then she killed him too. <laughs> she killed everyone. She would have been an amazing goblin's bride, by the way. And then they wouldn't have had to suffer for 900 years, but. Anyway, she loaded up this cart with all of her people's belongings that would kind of represent their souls. And she went looking for the Moon Lodge, which is a place where the dead can rest. And she was kind of losing her mind at this point. So she, she's in the middle of nowhere and she comes upon this camp with an old lady and she's asking the old lady where the Moon Lodge is. And she gets very sassy. And this old lady's like, I don't think so. She curses her with running this inn that she was looking for. So she's been living in this purgatory state for over a thousand years, I think it was like 1300 years, with this extreme desire for vengeance and hatred against Chung Myung for his betrayal. Basically just living this shallow, empty, extravagant life. So if you fast forward to present day, she forces Gu Chan Sung to become the manager of her hotel. He refuses and she unlocks his eyes so he can see the ghosts everywhere. And he's a huge scary cat and he's just absolutely terrified. And so he reluctantly agreed to take this position, which he really didn't have a choice in anyway. But he takes this job and he slowly starts to bring her back to life and make her happy and alive again. And then they begin to fall in love. But then you realize this whole reincarnation theme is back. I know. And we find out that those she loved and those she hated are alive and they're probably around her. I feel like this was my review for Goblin. <laughs> anyway, these discoveries turn Manuel from her newly sweet, fun, romantic side back to her peak, angry, vengeful self. And she has to decide whether she wants to take revenge 
and basically lose her soul, like not be able to be reincarnated, or if she wants to let it all go. What will she do? I don't know. You're gonna have to watch and find out. Stay tuned until the spoilers. It felt very original, except now that I laid it all out, it does sound kind of like the Goblin. But some episodes felt like a horror movie, but it was mild enough where I could actually watch it by myself. There were a few twists, nothing huge. The main twist I saw coming. Honestly, if the backstory that played out in episode 14 was the full story or most of the story, this definitely would have been like top five favorite shows of all time. It just didn't have enough overall screen time. I felt like too much unimportant stuff got more screen time than what was interesting, which was like her love and the background interests. Um, I would have had less random ghost stories and more of just backstory. The overall cast chemistry was really good. They felt like a family and by the end, you really love and feel for every character in the show. I think from a romantic standpoint the chemistry between man wall and chung young was so good it's literally what i waited for in each episode and we didn't get enough of that um i definitely don't think the chemistry was there for me with men wall and chung sung and maybe that's why i feel like the backstory should have been the main story but the acting was incredible and i use I use performance was insane. I use emotional range blew my mind. Her ability to take this super unlikable character and make you feel for her and love her, it, it was really good. I think this was an incredible performance by her. The show was funny. The show was scary. It was moving. Yes, I cried. I cried a lot. Oh my God, episode 14. <gasps> oh, the tears. They... <laughs> It was so good. And it, all, I can't, all the last, all the last episodes, I think I cried in almost every episode. When they have to say goodbye, when everyone's like resolving their issues, just straight up waterworks. And she remembers her past and finds out why everything happened. Okay, new category, the fashion. This, her, this fashion, the fashion in this show was epic. Her modernized Victorian looks blew my mind. Like I wanted her entire wardrobe. It was so cool, so unique. Uh, they just did such a good job making her just look so exquisite in every episode. by far the best fashion in a drama ever. I give it like a 30 out of 10. The set design was stunning too. It, it was just one of the more beautiful shows I've ever seen with the colors and the designs everywhere. Just beautiful. Overall rating. I'm gonna give the show an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I highly recommend it, it was incredible. It's only this low for the plot misdirection. I believe her backstory deserved to have way more screen time. It was the most interesting part of the show and had the chemistry, the feels, all of it. And so I wish there would have been more of that. I just hated like when you wait for that and then you don't get it in that episode and then you're disappointed. So that's the only reason I'm giving it an 8.8. .8. 100% she I felt like she should have ended up with the bug I mean when you when you boil it down this show is about Manuel and Chung Myung's love his betrayal and her desperate need for revenge They put spent a thousand years in the cycle He was her first guest and the reason why she was cursed to run this hotel like we think she had it bad this dude this dude was a bug for 1300 years I'm sorry <laughs> he was a bug. <laughs> Could you imagine? He had it so bad. He was forced to marry the princess. He was forced to turn those people in. He was, all of it is just so sad. She, meanwhile, yeah, she's depressed and angry and like full of vengeful spirit, but she's still a human living her best life, freaking 20 cars, the best wardrobe you've ever seen, champagne, and he's a bug. <laughs> 
But then we don't feel sorry for him and we just like let him go and then she ends up with Chung Sung who it's okay. Like he probably deserved someone else and they could have all been happy, but I just feel like when she found out the truth, you know, and she was just so heartbroken, but then she forgave him and she let it go. It's just like heartbreaking. He waited as a buck for 1300 years. And then she was like, I forgive you, please leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. But it took her meeting Chan Sung to actually like bring her back to life and help her let go of some of her pain. Well, not really, I guess she didn't because it came right back out as soon as she thought he was Chung, Chung Myung. But I guess it's not a bad ending. I mean, the hopeless romantic in me felt like she should have been with Chung Myung, but this ending was a little less fantasy, more real life. Like you get hurt, you don't go back to the person who hurt you, but it's just sad because it was all just a big misunderstanding and he was doing everything to protect her. So, Mm. I just feel really bad for him. Do you think she should have ended up with Chen Sung or Chung Myung? I'm so curious. When I was in Korea, I got a lot of really cool recommendations of things I should go do and see. A couple of people told me about this cafe called Hotel Sin. It was just like a really cute dessert cafe and bar that had a Hotel Del Luna theme. So the theme of this dessert cafe is from Hotel Del Luna, one of my favorite shows. So it looks like you're going into the hotel and they serve dessert. Feels like the Hotel Del Luna lobby. Let's go explore. Come on. It's the full moon now. and it was so cute and they had the chemistry um thanks for watching <laughs>